All right, Halos, welcome back. Uh, we are doing some more patch notes today. Uh, it's just going to be myself uh, because I think the schedules aren't going to work super well. Um, but hey, you maybe we'll see. Uh, either way, let's just jump straight into it. It's going to be patch 14.21, of course, today. And uh, since the dark stars are out for patch 14.21, uh, not sure what that means exactly, but maybe there's, there's some dark star game modes or something happening. I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, <clears throat> we've got a few uh, things across the across the patch obviously we've got the overview here and oh yeah so they've got some dark star skins coming out that's why then um i wonder if there's gonna be a game out then i'm not sure because i know ultimate spellbook i think it just rotated in so i feel like there probably isn't but that's fine dark star skins are pretty cool it looks like i got a lot of champion changes actually so that's pretty big um let's go ahead and jump straight into it then so uh champion bounties they've overhauled the champion bounty system this patch make bounties more intuitive um all right, overview. Champion bounties are now based on gold earned and lost, as opposed to kill death stat streaks and the relative amount of farm. Um, <clears throat> for example, it's now possible to have a bounty of plus one gold. Bounties are not displayed on the scoreboard unless they're worth at least 150 gold in update and further increments of 50. Shutdown announcement will display for any champion killed with at least 150 bounty on them. A positive bounties. A positive bounties gold is bonus gold given to a champion's killer when slain. Yep. Positive bounties are no longer based on skill streak or sorry kill streaks. Uh, positive bounties are no longer based on upon your minion and minion and monster kills relative to the average minion and monster kills of the te enemy team. Champions now accrue one bounty gold for every four gold earned from kills and assists. Okay. Shut down gold does not increase the killer's positive bounty. Potential bounty gold is now reduced by one for every four gold given away to killers and assisters on death. While in a positive state, champions now accrue one bounty gold for every 20 gold earned from minions and monsters. Uh, when a champion is shut down, all bounty is removed from the champion. As an excep exception, a champion with a bounty greater than 700 gold will carry over their remaining bounty into their next life. The first 100 bounty gold is not applied. For example, 400 gold worth of kills and assists will not give you a bounty, but the next 400 gold will set your bounty to plus 100 gold. Okay. When active, objective bounties will now devalue positive bounties for the losing team. This modifier starts at a 10% reduction and can reach about an 80% reduction in the most extreme scenarios. Negative bounties. A negative bounty is a baseline devaluation of a champion's kill gold. Unlike positive bounties, this reduced value is also factored into assists gold is unchanged. Um, negative bounties are no longer based upon death streaks. Negative bounties are no longer reset from earning a single kill. Negative bounties no longer undo one death per assist. While in a negative state, base gold value is reduced by one for every four gold given to killers and assisters on death. Uh, while in a negative state, base gold value is increased by one for uh, four for every four gold earned from kills and assists, shutdown gold is applied to negative bounties. While in a negative state, base gold value is increased by one for every ten gold earned from minions and monsters. On the first fifty negative gold, negative bounty gold is not applied. For example, a three hundred gold death will set your base kill gold to negative twenty-five, not negative seventy-five. Okay. And objective bounties. All right. Uh, void grubs will now contribute. Uh, experience differences contribute about 40% less. Gold differences contribute about 25% more. Uh, Turret and Drake differences are slightly more likely, likely to contribute. Objective bounties will deactivate more quickly when the losing team makes a comeback. Objective bounties are ending soon. Timer it was uh, 60 seconds, now it's 30 seconds. Object objective bounties are decreased by 20 to 40% in situations where the losing team is already coming back. Uh, Baron Nasher <clears throat> base objective bounty 500 gold is now 300 gold. Okay, interesting. All right. Um, first up for the champion changes, we have Aurelian Soul. So base health is going from 620 to 600, and that's not that big of a deal, but it's definitely a little bit, uh, <clears throat> a little bit of a nerf, obviously there for him. Excuse me. Uh, next up, we got his E Singularity. The magic damage on that looks like the the flat bit is being unchanged, but the um, 
the scaling percent is down by 20%, which is actually pretty large, um, to be honest. Um, 80% to 60%, so that's a pretty big deal, I would say. Pretty large nerf for her, for him. Uh, so yeah, interesting. Uh, as your base stats are going from health region was 5, now it's 7. And his attack damage was 52, and now it's 56. Wow. That's crazy. I didn't think they'd be buffing him, honestly. I thought he was pretty strong. That's pretty crazy, actually. Yeah, wow. Okay. Some huge, huge buffs for Azir, I think. Personally, I mean, obviously, it's like he's not an ADC or anything, so like the attack damage isn't as big of a deal, but it definitely helps. And the health regen is definitely pretty nice too. Um, yeah, pretty nice buffs for his ear actually. Uh, all right, Brand. So mana regen was 10.65, now it's nine, so getting a lot less, less there. And then <clears throat> uh, his passive blaze detonation damage uh, was nine to 13 percent. Uh, based on level of maximum health, plus 2% 2 per 100 AP, you know, it's only 8 to 12% of maximum health. So just down by 1% uh, at every level that it would have been before. So definitely hurts him, but um, you are not getting, like, multiple detonations off that often, I don't think. Um, so that's not that crazy of a deal, but it's definitely definitely hurts him quite a bit. Um, Q Seer, the mana cost is actually going from 50 to 70, so that's, that's pretty large for him as well. Um, I can, yeah, just overall big nerfs to Brand, I'd say. Um, kind of sucks, but it is what it is, I suppose. Um, all right, Camille. So base stats. Base health was 670. Now it is 650. So just down by 20 again, just like uh, Aurelian Soul. Not that big of a deal, but it's definitely something at least. Um, tactical sweep on the W. Uh, a minimum damage was 70 to 190 based on rank. Um, and it also has the plus 60% bonus AD scaling, but that's not being changed. But the flat is now going down by 20 early and 40 late. So um, it starts at 50 and it goes scales all the way to 150 minimum damage. So just getting nerfed quite a bit there. Um, I'm actually okay with it because W seems pretty strong of an ability for her. But um, yeah, it says the outer bonus cone damage is also unchanged. So um, that's just the minimum damage. And then clarified in the tooltip that the max health damage has a 300 monster damage cap. All right, uh, definitely hurts her, but I don't think it's the end of the world or anything like that. Uh, wall dive damage is, the flat is unchanged, but the uh, bonus AD scaling was 90%, now it's 75%, so down by 15% scaling there. It's pretty, pretty big, but I'm not sure that she's that worried about that, to be honest. Um, so yeah, that shouldn't be too big of a deal. Uh, our old hexical ultimatum bonus damage was 5, 10, and 15, plus 4 percent of uh, plus 4, 6, or 8 percent of current health based on rank. Now it's just the flat, uh, just the 4, 6, and 8 percent of current HP. Now you don't get that extra bonus damage on top um, from the the flat, at least, which is not that big of a deal either, I don't think. But definitely, definitely uh, quite a few hits to her. Um, definitely going to make her a lot more weaker for sure. Um, so yeah. Uh, Corky is up next. Let's see what we got. All right. So it looks like their his passive is getting the bonus true damage up to actually. So it was 50%. Uh, now it's 20%. Um, so that's pretty nice actually. Um, and then Valkyrie has W. The maximum damage is getting the flat damage uh, changed. So all at every rank it's up by 50 damage. Um, for the maximum, obviously. So it's if, if you sit in the his W the entire time, uh, and then the bonus AD scaling is up by 50% as well. Um, everything else is unchanged, so it's now 200% of bonus AD scaling as well. So pretty, pretty nice. Um, pretty nice. Pretty big. Pretty big buff, I'd say, overall. Um, so far, all right. Our Miss Barrage damage was 80, 160, and 240. Now it's 90, 170, and 250, so just up by 10 damage flat. And also the bonus 80 is going to 80% instead of 70%, so it's now up by 10% as well. So that's pretty nice, just really nice buff for Corky. Uh, this could actually make him, I think it'll probably make him uh, come back into the pro meta. Obviously, we won't see him for a while because Pro isn't really happening until next year, technically. So, um, yeah, but still pretty, pretty big, pretty big buffs for him. So it's nice. Uh, Elish, uh, sorry, Elise. Uh, base stats: the armor growth was 5.2. Now it's 4.5. So a uh, bit of a nerf there. She's getting 
touch to be a little bit quick a uh, little bit more damage taken in jungle mostly and then just doesn't isn't as as tanky basically against the AD champions uh, fiddlesticks Q terrify uh, damage was let's see it's uh, six seven eight nine and ten percent so it looks like it's getting nerfed here actually so now it's five six seven eight nine so it's down by one percent at every rank of targets current health um, and that's not bad, that big of a deal. I didn't know his Q actually dealt damage now. It used to just be the fear. Does it actually deal damage? Because that's crazy. Uh, the amp damage also was 12 to 20% of target's current health. Uh, now it's 10 to 18%. So down by, what, 2% at every rank of amp damage there. So pretty nice nice bit of nerfs there for Quiddlestick for sure. Um, yeah, so that's, that's kind of interesting. All right. Um, Galioph was had uh, base mana was five ten five hundred. Now it's down to four ten, so down by ninety base mana. That's pretty, pretty large actually. Um, that's pretty crazy. Not gonna lie. But all right, uh, interesting. I actually think he runs out of mana pretty quickly, so it's kind of interesting that they're um, nerfing him in that regard. But all right, I guess it could be touched down a little bit maybe. That's pretty big nerfs for Galia. Uh, Gangplank. So. Base stats, Mono Regen is 7.5, now it's 8, and uh, the E Powder Keg with a recharge time on that was 18 to 14 seconds based on rank, now it's 17 to 13, so down by 1 second at every rank. Um, pretty nice buffs for Gangplank for sure, um, making him a little bit stronger, no big deal, but definitely, I mean this could could be large, we'll see. I don't think it's that big of a deal, but definitely helps him quite a bit, so yeah. All right, Gwyn, passive thousand cuts. The uh, damage was uh, one percent plus zero point seven two percent per hundred AP. Now it's zero point six percent per hundred AP of target's max health. So just they're nerfing it for uh, when she stacks a lot of AP, mostly. Um, it could be a lot of damage, but honestly, I don't think this is that big of a deal. Seems pretty small. Maybe I'm wrong though. Um, so yeah. All right, way. So plays. Let's see. QQ. Devastating fire. Uh, damage. All right. Lots of things to change here. Looks like <clears throat> uh, everything except the target's maximum health damage on it. But yeah, QQ. Devastating. Devastating fire. Uh, looks like it's down by 10 damage flat on all ranks. Um, and then it's down by 5% of AP scaling as well. So pretty pretty decent amount of damage taken off of that but uh, i think it is pretty strong to be fair and toy is a very broken champion i think um he can he has way too much range and he has so many abilities that he can, he can cast that are just very strong so i think i think it's perfectly fine e subject to torment uh cooldown was 12 to 10 seconds that was 13 to 11 so up by one second at every rank uh also very nice nerf um yeah i think and that's for the all the abilities you can get out of E as well. So pretty big, pretty pretty nice nerfs for him. Um, hopefully that'll do something. I still don't think that's going to be enough. I think he's still very strong, but we'll see. Uh, Irelia Q Blade Surge uh, cooldown is going down by one second in every rank. That's pretty crazy actually. Uh, mana cost is also going down by five, so it's now only 15 mana to cast, which is also pretty crazy. Um, damage, the flat is unchanged here, but the AD scaling. Uh, is up by 10%, so it was 16% AD, now it's 70% AD, that's pretty big, that's really big. And then bonus damage to minions was 5, 50 to 259 based on level, now it's 50 to 237, so it's just a little bit nerfed, especially in the late game, um, or towards the, towards the late game a bit. But yeah, it's uh, pretty pretty big buffs actually. I don't know why they're doing this to be honest, oops, sorry. I don't know why they're doing this to be honest, but it's pretty large. Um, this is really sad to see, but I guess, oh well. Uh, our Vanguard's Edge, the Q cooldown reduction on it, is removed, it looks like. So, okay. <clears throat> okay, okay. So they are making it quite a bit stronger, but uh, apparently it had Q cooldown reduction from her R. I'm assuming it's a from passive, or maybe it's only during, while well, the R is like activated, Maybe she has a cooldown reduction on the Q. 
I'm actually not sure to be honest, guys. But yeah, that's that makes it a little bit more sense why they're bouncing it out a little bit. Still, this is pretty pretty nice buffs for Aurelia for sure. I think I think she's gonna be sitting pretty happy here. Um, all right, Kaisa, passive second skin, initial damage. Uh, was 5 to 23, now it's plus 15% AP scaling, uh, now it's 4 to 24 based on level of course, and then uh, plus 12% AP scaling, so nerfed quite a bit on the AP scaling a bit, and just a little bit on the, the flat um, initial damage, and then the per stack damage was 1 to 12 based on level plus 2.5% AP, now it's 1 to 6, wow that's halved, that's pretty big. Um, <clears throat> and then it was plus 3% AP now, so it's a little bit more for the AP scaling there, but not much. Um, and then maximum damage ends up being 9 to 71 based on level, plus 25% AP, and now, that was what it was, now it's 8 to 48 based on level, plus 24% AP. That's pretty big. That is really big, the maximum damage on that getting nerfed quite a bit there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, okay, wow. Alright, uh, Karthus, that sucks for Kaisa for sure. Alright, uh, Karthus, uh, okay, our Requiem mag magic damage was 200 to 500, that's unchanged, but the uh, AP scaling is down by 5%, so it was 75%, now it's 70%. Pretty nice there, I, I agree, pretty OP. Um, Alright, cast it in, Null Sphere, magic damage was 65 to 185, um, that's unchanged. But the uh, AP scaling on it is down by 10%, so now it's only 60% of AP instead of 70%. So that's such a nice little nerf for him. Um, I'm okay with that. Uh, e Force Pulse magic damage was, uh, let's see, the flat is unchanged again, and then it's just the AP scaling down by 5% on his E. I think that's fine. His E is a lot stronger than it used to be, so it, should, it could do with some nerfs, I think, overall. But we'll see, I guess. Uh, yeah, all right. So the AP ratio is mostly, so it's just his scaling mostly hit there. Um, and then Kale is up next for W Celestial, Celestial Blessing. The mana cost is getting down by quite a, going down by quite a bit, which is good, because it was way too much, I think. Um, and then mana cost was 90 to 130, so it's now 70 to 90, so that's pretty nice. Um, I do like that a lot, that's really good. And then Malphite is up next, so we got base health 644, uh, now it's 665, so not really that much of, of a bump, but definitely helps him a bit. Um, it also actually helps his passive as well a bit, so it's a bit of a nerf there indirectly. Uh, <clears throat> Alright, Nasus, so passive Soul Eater is getting nerfed here, it looks like. Uh, Life Steal was 12 to 24 percent based on level, and now it's 9 to 21 percent based on level. That's that's unfortunate. Um, that sucks, honestly, but. It's not that big of a deal. It just it definitely just makes him less less able to uh, to sustain as much poke. Um, Q siphoning strike. The bonus physical damage uh, is going down by flat five. So that's not big, that big of a deal, honestly. I don't think. Just hurts him a little bit, but not much. Um, but yeah, down by five at every rank. So not not too big of a deal. Uh, Nyla is up next, so Q, Formless Blade. Nyla's EQ combo missile now deals instant deals damage instantly in the area rather than when the missile hits the enemy. Nyla's auto attack should no longer cancel when her Q buff runs out. Okay. Uh, and then R, Apotheosis. Nyla's first auto attack coming out of her ultimate should no longer be slightly delayed. Alright, cool. Um, just some kind of nice quality of life changes. Actually pretty nice for her, for sure. Uh, Alright, Kiana is up next. Um, health regen was 6, now it's 8, so that's pretty nice, that's pretty nice. Uh, w, Terra Shape, uh, let's see, what do we have here? So the bonus AD percentage is changing from 10% to 20%, it's pretty big. And then, that's it actually, so yeah, just some light little taps here I think. I, this could be a lot of damage honestly. But I don't think it's going to be, like, super crazy. We'll see. We'll have to see for sure. Uh, anyways, I think that's an on-hit damage too, right? So that could could mean a decent amount. We'll see. Uh, Senna. So armor is now going from 28 to 25. And armor growth was 4.7. Now it's 4. So just big, big nerfs to Senna's armor. And she's already a very squishy champion, to be honest. So that's kind of sucks to see, honestly. Um, 
That's pretty crazy. And I don't think she's been that prominent overall, but maybe. I don't know. Uh, all right. I guess I guess it is what it is. I think she's pretty weak, actually, right now, to be honest, surprisingly. Uh, Sivir. Attack damage was 58. Now it's uh, 60, so up by 2. That's that's because she got the skin, so they wanted people to play it. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> uh, and then Q, Boomerang Blade. Uh, okay, they're changing the total AD to bonus AD here. Okay, so the flat was 15 to 75, now it's 60 to 160, which sounds like a lot, but it used to scale uh, 80 to 100% of total AD. Now it's um, only 100% of bonus AD. So, yeah. Um, I think... <clears throat> it says these Q changes represent a buff for levels 1 to 12 and a slight nerf afterwards. Okay. So, yeah. Um... I mean, she's going to be stronger early game, mostly, especially. Um, and I, that's probably okay. I don't really like the, her playstyle that much. I don't really think she's a weak. She's kind of weak, so I don't know. We'll see. She might make a comeback. Uh, Swain health region was seven. Now it's three. Um, it was also plus zero point six five, and now it's plus zero point five. What's that mean? What? Oh, is that per level? Oh, okay, yeah, I think that means they're, they're changing the the growth. I'm assuming. I could be wrong. But yeah, alright, uh, mana, that's pretty, that's a lot, a lot of nerf, actually. Uh, alright, mana is, was 468, now it's 400, so it's quite a bit less mana as well. Um, and then mana regen is up by uh, 2, so it was 8, now it's 10. Uh, yeah, big nerfs for his base stats, I think, overall. Um, passive Ravenous Flock, the healing was 3, 4, 5, and 6% of max HP. It levels 1, 6, 11, and 13, uh, 16. Now it's just 3 to 6% of max HP, which is the same amount, but it's linearly scaling. Uh, I wonder if they say anything about that. It's probably, let's see, what's that? Um... I don't know. Uh, but yeah, anyways. Uh, <clears throat> Q, Death's Hand, Mana Cost. It looks like it's down by 5, so that helps a little bit. Uh, what else? What else? Yeah, that, that's pretty nice. I like that. 1 Bolt Damage was uh, 65 to 145. Now it's 60 to 160, so it scales a little bit better, um, but it's slightly weaker early. Uh, just level 1, actually. And then it's now plus 5% of AP, so now it used to be 40%, now it's 45%, so it's pretty nice. Uh, extra bolt damage was 15 to 55 plus 10% of AP, now it's just 25% uh, of initial hit. Ooh, what does that mean, Death's Hand? About 10% more damage at long range and have a lower amount of cost. Small decrease to his melee range damage output. Okay, so that, I think that means it's less damage early uh especially or i guess more accurately less damage if they're closer up but the yeah yeah yeah, yeah. okay so this is actually just a nerf pretty much um and then maximum damage was 125 to 365 plus 80 percent ap now it's 120 to 320 uh plus 90 percent ap so it it's worse until you build more ap posts mostly um Pretty much is how you could read that. Um, but yeah, all right, so sort of a nerf, unless you're using it at like max range, pretty much. Um, all right, and then W Vision of Empire, that kind of sucks. Uh, damage was 80 to 220, now it's 80, 70 to 210, so down by 10 flat at every rank. And then the AP scaling is up by 5%, so it was 55%, now it's 60%. Uh, and then slow duration was 2.5 seconds, now it's just 1.5. Wow, that's a big nerf. Slow percent um, is up, though. It was 25 to 65%, now it's 50 to 70%. So uh, at rank 1, it's double the slow dur uh, amount. But okay. Uh, reveal duration was 4 to 8, uh, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Um, based on rank, now it's just 6 flat. Um, that's probably all fine. Whoops, my bad. That's probably all fine. Uh, it's just kind of unfortunate that the slow duration goes down so much, mostly. Uh, Alright. Um, the never, mo never more. I thought it said never move. Um, cooldown was 10 flat. Now it's 14 to 10 based on rank. 
and then mana was 50 flat now it's 60 to 80 based on rank so it gets worse um, and then outgoing missile speed was 935 to 2735 now it's 1125 to 1800 i didn't know this scaled that's interesting but yeah it's a lot quicker at the beginning i guess it's quite a lot quicker early but it's a lot slower late uh game and then outgoing missile travel time was 0.533 now it's 0.66 or 2667 now it's just 0 0.6 so it's a little bit early a little bit better early game a little bit worse later game return missile speed uh was 60 to 2200 now it's 2000 to 2800 so that's just straight up a lot better so it just returns super quick um all right and then return missile speed travel time was 0.533 and 2.667, just like above, and now it's 0.4 travel time. So yeah, that should be a buff. Oh wait, no, 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 this would, I guess this would mean this is a nerf into a buff. I think, because that's the total time. So the shorter the time, the quicker it is. All right, interesting. Um, I think. Return missile width was 170, now it's 180, so it gets larger as it comes back, of course, um, quite a bit, and a little bit more now. Maximum damage was 70 to 250, based on rank plus 50% AP. Now it's 80 to 240, so <clears throat> up, by f up by 10, up by 5, equal, down by 5, down by 10. And then it does get plus 10% AP scaling on top. Um, so just kind of better, I'd say, overall, especially building AP, which you are going to be. Uh, past the Sorry about that, guys. My uh, headset turned off again. Uh, all right. <clears throat> but yeah, pass through damage removed, that's pretty big, I'd say. I mean, not that big of a deal, but like... I would use the pass-through damage quite a bit, so yeah, that's, that's unfortunate. The detonation damage looks like it's getting upped here, so quite a bit actually. Uh, 35 to 75 plus 25% AP was the old, now it's 80 to 240, so a huge buff on the flat damage. Uh, and then plus 60% AP, so a huge buff on the, the percentage uh, AP scaling as well. So yeah, okay. No longer displays root particles on target killed targets killed by the explosion. Okay, that's cool. Um, and then our demonic ascension, demon flare may be repeatedly cast every eight seconds, unaffected by ability haste, up to a hundred times. Good luck. <laughs> uh, first cast is still available after two seconds. So yeah, this is just a straight up buff. Um, huge, because you can only cast this once before, so now you can cast it every eight seconds if you have the duration still, of course. And then... The cooldown was 100 seconds, 80, and 60%, 60 seconds after transform ends. Now it's 120 seconds, but it's when transform begins. Um, obviously, early game at level one. I mean, level six. This is going to be better, I would say. Yeah, um, but overall, probably, maybe maybe about even ish. Um, but at breaks two and three, this is going to be probably worse. Um, but it is was a pretty low cooldown, to be honest. 60 seconds is pretty crazy. Even 80 is pretty low. So that's fine, I guess. Um, but yeah, bit of a nerf there. Obviously, it is just better, though. Um, as, a, as an ability, I mean. Demon Flare damage was 150 to 300. Now it's 150 to 350. But the AP scaling was nerfed by 10%. So it was 60% 60 80. Sorry. Now it's 50% AP, AP scaling. Um, then, then Demon Flare... Decaying slow was 60% and now it's 75%, so that's um, that's just better, quite a lot. Um, and then damage per second was 20 to 60, and now it's 50 to 35, so you're not getting as much damage per second. Uh, and then it was 10% AP scaling, now it's just 5%, so that's pretty big nerfs um, to the damage per second. And then the heal per second, I think it's fine though. The heal per second was <clears throat> uh, 15 to 40, now it's 15 to 45, based on rank of course. And then it was plus 18% AP, now it's just plus 5% AP, but it does have a, a bonus AP, HP scaling of plus 1.25%, which is a decent amount. Probably doesn't make up for the AP, but maybe, we'll see. Um, e cooldown reduction is removed on the R, so yeah. Um, so a bit of a rework, obviously here um, with Swain, just a bit. 
uh, or at least a pass through sort of. But overall, I don't know. I think he can be better, but um, more situationally probably. Um, instead of just being kind of good all around. Uh, overall, I think I like it, but it's definitely different. Um, quite a bit different. I don't know. I'll have to see. I feel like it's a little weaker, to be honest, but we'll have to see for sure. Um, all right, Talon's up next. Talon doesn't have quite enough damage to play his trade to ply his trade in mid lane. Interesting, really? I don't agree. Uh, w rake return damage was is getting up by ten flat damage at every rank, and then up by ten percent bonus AD scaling as well. So that's pretty pretty nice for Talon. Um, yeah, just really nice on his main ability, actually. Uh, w Rake. Alright. Uh, Terex. W Bastion. Terex armor as bonus armor was 9-13% to 13%, uh, based on rank. Now it's 6-10%. to 10%, So big nerfs there. Down by, what, yeah, 3% at every rank. Um, that is, I mean, it is a lot that he does get, so I, I think it's fine. But yeah, definitely big nerfs to him. Um, kind of interesting. But uh, wasn't expecting for sure. Uh, base stats for Teemo here. Um, the base health was 598, now it's 615. So he's uh, getting a little bit of a, a little bit of health there. It's literally not that much. Like 17 HP is like nothing, pretty much. Uh, but it's something. Uh, w move quick. The bonus uh, movement speed. Sorry, it was 10 to 26 percent. Now it's uh, 12 to 28 percent. And the active bonus move speed. It, Obviously, it's just double that, basically. Um, so, yeah. Uh, Alright. And then, Viego. Armor growth was 5.2. Now it is 4.6, so it's getting a lot less armor per level, which is pretty nice. Uh, not not a huge amount, but definitely some. Um, Alright. And then, Volibear. E Sky Splitter. The cooldown was 12 seconds. Now it's 14 seconds. So that's a uh, pretty big nerf there, actually. Not gonna lie. Um... Yeah, definitely. Um, bit of a nerf there. Quite a bit of a nerf there. Uh, Zaya, WW, W Deadly Plumage. The bonus strike damage was 25, 20%. Now it's 25%. Okay, nice. They are buffing Zaya. Sweet. sweet. That's good to see. Um, I don't think she's particularly weak, but she doesn't shine as much as some other champions. That's for sure. Um, all right, and then Yone is up next. Please be a nerf. All right, yes it is. Okay, so the flat damage on his W, total damage, is getting unchanged, but the uh, percentage of max HP damage is getting down by 1% at every rank, so now it's just 10 to 14% of max HP, which is still a lot, but definitely helps a bit, so that's good. Um, all right, Yorick, Passive Shepherd of Souls, sorry, Souls, Mistwalker AD was 2 to 88 uh, based on level, plus 25% of Yorick total AD. Now it's 4 to 90, uh, so just better flat. And then, um, but it's plus 20% of Yorick's total AD, so it should be less overall. Um, yeah. Okay, that's fine, I guess. Um, I think it's better. I think it's a nerf, basically, so I'm okay with that. He's very strong, like, way too strong. Um, I don't really know the counters, though, but that, that could be my problem. Uh, <laughs> all right. Um, Sorcerer's Shoes. Magic Pin was 15. Now it's 12. That's pretty pretty big, but it's not that big of a deal, I guess. Um, I think it sucks, for sure, because there's not a lot of flat Magic Pin in the game. Um, there's more than it used to be, but yeah, um, kind of sucks, I guess, but it's all right, I suppose. Uh, Blade of the Rune King, Mist's Edge damage. Oh, they're nerfing this again. Wow, so this item's just getting worse and worse, basically. All right, uh, so it was 10% melee, 6% ranged of the target's current HP. Now it's 8% for melee and 5% for range. So just, yeah, down by 2% for melee and down by 1% for range. It's just, just so much worse. They're getting, they're, they keep hitting this item so much, and I don't understand. <laughs> it's so, so sad, so unfortunate. But it is what it is. Uh, recommended ruins, or runes, sorry. Um, Twisted Fate is getting changed. Azir, um, Ringar is getting changed a bit. Let's see what else. What else? 
Alright, uh, lethal tempo, melee attack speed per stack uh, was 5%, now it's 6%. So that's a little bit better, but it's still not enough. Um, lethal tempo is really weak, I think, overall. It can work on some champions, but overall it is very underpowered. Um, this is only melee, though. That's interesting. But yeah, the, it's still very underpowered. It's not slightly, it's very underpowered. <laughs> um, so, yeah, hopefully they'll they'll buff it more in the future if, if they want people to actually use it, but I think it's pretty weak, weak still. Other than that, it seems like it for uh, today. We all, we all obviously have our our skins here, so this one is, oh shit, I didn't read it, uh, Prestige Dark Cosmic Diana, okay. So that looks pretty nice in the splash, I don't know how it looks in game though. Uh, Dark Cosmic Diana, that looks pretty cool actually. She looks really massive there. Um, Alright, and then Dark Star Zoe, ooh, that's an interesting looking one. And then Dark Star Kaisa, ooh, another Kaisa skin, nice. That's gonna be interesting to see. I might, I might use that one. I don't know. We'll we'll have to see how good it is in game. Darkstar Silas. All right, so that's quite a. That's pretty cool actually too. I like that. It's got the little like balls on on the chain or whatever. The dark stars on the, the shackles, and then Darkstar York. Oh wow. That looks pretty cool. But yeah, this is kind of unfortunate to see. What is that? Is that Nocturne or something? Is there a Darkstar Nocturne? Cause that looks like that might be a future skin, we'll see. Or it's just a teaser, I don't know. <laughs> uh, either way, that's going to be pretty much it for this game. Thank you guys for watching, I do appreciate it. So this is the Dark Cosmic, Dark Zoe. Uh, Kaisa. Uh, it looks a little weird, actually. Maybe, though. Uh, Silas. Looks kind of interesting. And then Yorick. Alright, well, uh, thank you guys for watching. That's going to be it for today, of course. Uh, catch you guys in the next patch, and thanks for watching. Um, yeah, definitely check out the bug fixes and quality of life changes, too, because this stuff can be important as well. But yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you later. Peace.